a girl named May is seen at the start of the movie whose one eye is injured and she is screaming, while holding her eye in pain. What happened to her eye didn't know this we reach May's childhood. It is shown that May's eye was damaged since her childhood that's why she used to wear a bandage on it. Everyone makes fun of her because of it, none makes her friend due to which she stays sad all the time. She likes to play with the doll and she likes dolls but she always breaks them while playing with them. She also likes to break the dolls and this was strange, it is pointing out that May isn't a normal girl. There is aggression and brutality in her, May's mother gifts her a doll as a present on her birthday. It was lovely and packed in a glass box. Her mother says this is the first doll made by me and the same doll was my friend in my childhood. If none is making you a friend so make it your friend but don't put it out from the glass box as it is special. Obeying her mother she befriends that doll, well now the scene after a few years is shown. As time passed May has grown elder and she made her damaged eye fine while fixing a lens in it. So she doesn't need to wear a bandage as she has become fine, after it, she has got a different courage. And she was ready to be anyone's friend she didn't in her childhood. She used to work in a veterinary center where she used to put stitches on animals and their surgeries. She was fond of stitching and her habit was strange, but even then there was a smile always on her face. Her smile was lovely as well as terrible. Her behavior is like this because she was always at a distance from outsiders. Her parents were dead and now she only lives with her doll. She likes a boy named Adam and often sees him secretly whenever comes out to have food. He was a mechanic and May likes Adam's hands. One day Adam was reading a book in a coffee shop May also moved there to see him and to sit near him. Reading the book, Adam sleeps there, and seeing it, she moves closer to him and touches her face with his hands. Suddenly he awakes and she panics to see this and leaves immediately. Gradually they become friends and then start spending time together. Now because she likes Adam's hands so she touches her face with his hands again and again. They spend their most of time together and often go to watch movies. One day May's friend talks to her strangely in the clinic because she wasn't a good girl. But May likes her as she likes her neck as Adam's hands pull her towards them. Here they talk a little. And after it, May's friend gifts her cat, reaching home she was calling Adam continuously. But he wasn't picking up the call because he was busy today, because of not talking for many days May calls him at her home. They were watching scary movies having terrible scenes in which a couple goes on a vacation where something happened to them and they start eating each other while biting. The girl eats her husband's finger and the boy bites her wife's body which points that they have become cannibals. Even though it was a weird movie but May was liking it, seeing these kinds of scenes she feels a different kind of peace. She sits near Adam so that she can see all scenes from near and after it, they go to sleep. May was touching her face again and again with his hands then suddenly something happened that she bites Adam. Due to it he starts bleeding and he leaves because he doesn't like this. Now he gets angry with May and as he leaves May starts scolding her doll given by her mother. She was feeling this doll is making her do these strange acts, then she calls Adam again and again. He didn't receive a call and it seems like he is ignoring her, now May becomes concerned for him while not talking for many days. She goes to meet him and Adam was talking to his friend. During this May hears him saying that May is a strange girl and I am happy since I am at a distance from her. Her heart breaks hearing this and she leaves. She moves to her friend who takes care of her. She tells her about Adam and lights her heart, then they spend a lot of time together. To light her heart she goes to the kids' school to talk to them and she sees a small girl making a small pot. She writes May on it and then gives it to her, she meets Adam at night. But he doesn't feel good to see her and he leaves while talking to her for a while. Her mood ruins because of it so she comes to her friend's house. Because now they were close to each other but she finds another friend of her friend and feels bad. She becomes furious and reaches home without saying anything. Because she was deceived and disappointed by both sides from Adam and her friend, who was lovely to her. She becomes sad after reaching home and starts weeping because she has become alone once again. She breaks all her dolls in anger and calls her cat but it also moves far from her due to which she becomes furious. She hits a pot and the cat dies there, now May feels like the doll in the box and others are talking to her. She was hearing voices and as she lifts the receiver she feels like Adam is saying something on the phone. 
but the truth was her doll was saying something to her in a dim voice, but she ignores it. The next day she moves to the school with her doll at the school where a girl gifted her a pot. The kids like her doll and they insist to take it out but May says no I can't. Because my mother forbade me but even then they were snatching the box from her. The glass box falls and breaks and the glass pieces spread every. Even then the kids didn't stop and try to take the doll but they become injured because of the glass pieces and start bleeding. The doll also damages because of it and May doesn't like this so she leaves with her doll. She was sad and then one day, May was out of her house and a boy sits near her seeing her alone. They talk for a while and they become friends. After it, May takes him to her home. The boy was feeling hot so she removes his shirt and there was a tattoo on his arm. It was attracting May so she starts staring at it and admiring it. The boy moves to the fridge to take water from it but May forbids him but he opens it and sees May kept a dead cat in the fridge. It was the same cat given by her friend and she has ended it, she has done this so that its dead body will not rot. The boy gets scared to see it and leaves from there but May doesn't like this. She stabs scissors in his head and he starts bleeding and screaming in pain. But he does because of a lot of bleeding and this was May's first murder means in humans as she has ended animals. Seeing his dead body she says I am feeling peace while ending you and only your arm in your body is nice that had a tattoo. The rest of your body is useless and now I need more dead bodies. The next day she goes to meet her friend. She starts measuring her neck as she likes her neck. Her friend asks what are you doing so she replies I like your neck. You are my friend as well so I will stitch a shirt for you as you know I am fond of stitching. Her friend becomes happy to hear this and she sees her other friend here, she likes her legs. The way she likes her friend's neck and Adam's hands. The next day she stitches a lovely dress and gets dressed as her doll and pretends to be happy and fine. The strange thing was she keeps surgical tools like blades, scissors, and knives with her. After it, where did she go? She goes to her friend's house and stands behind her friend and cuts her neck while talking. Now because she likes her neck so she keeps it with her. Meanwhile, her other friend arrives, but doesn't realize that May has ended her friendship. She calls her friend but May go there instead of her friend. And suddenly, stabs two knives in her head and her head starts bleeding, and she immediately falls. She dies while wriggling. May likes her legs so she keeps her legs in her box while cutting them. Here we discover that May has changed as she has turned devilish and brutal. It seems like she has lost her control, she will stay the same as she likes breaking dolls in childhood. Tearing things or seeing blood makes her happy. It means that things like cannibals and the scenes in which someone is eating another and now she is enjoying ending people. She feels like she is doing a nice job and she is living in a different kind of peace. That means there is a disturbing thing in her since her childhood means bloodletting. Now she has got many body parts but she still needs Adam's special hands. So now where will she go? Yes, she moves to Adam's house where he was with his new friend and she feels jealous. She goes in front of him and asks him to touch her face but he couldn't in front of her new friend and asks her to leave. He was insulting her and because of it, Adam's friend starts laughing at her and when Adam touches her to insult her, May immediately stabs a knife in his friend's neck and she starts bleeding. Finally, May keeps Adam's hands while ending him. She keeps them with her and besides this, she keeps the ears of Adam's friends with her. Because she likes them and reaching home, she keeps all the body parts keep out of the box. And she cleans them. Now we discover what she wants to do with those body parts. She joins all the body parts while stitching and makes a huge doll for her, that will always be with her as her friend. It was a terrible scene, now talk about what parts did she use to make this doll. She used the arms of that tattooed boy because she likes his tattoo, and used the neck of her friend. She used the legs of another friend and used hands of Adam and used ears of Adam's friend. If we talk about hair she uses cats for his hairs, after it, she named her new friend after making a complete human. Still she felt something missing in her friend, that was her eyes because he wasn't looking at her so she was feeling bad. She wants her new friend to see her and love her, she decides to give him her eyes. Being courageous she takes her eye out while bearing pain and fixes it on him. It was the scene we saw at the start. The scene when she was weeping while holding her eye because she was feeling pain. She was bleeding and she fixes her eye on him but still, he wasn't talking to her. 
being worried because of it, she sleeps while keeping her head on him, but then a surprising scene is shown. The hand of May's new friend that was of Adam touches her lovingly. It was a strange and terrible scene, which means the human May made with the body parts is an alive human. He revives due to some reason, we have seen in the movie why May turned like this. Because everyone ignored her and she couldn't bear this behavior she wanted courage and took this tension. That she turned into an insane killer from an ordinary human. Now don't know how many more people will she end. So we shouldn't think anyone a waste of our lives and should give importance to others. Others should understand that they should not expect anyone to think of them as important. We should learn to avoid the bad and heartbreaking behavior of others. So that our minds will get peace and we will stay far from this evil. Here this story ends.